And welcome back to the long run where we are playing ukulele. We're currently in Galleon Galaxy, a little over half of the pages and uh, a little under uh, three quarters of the quills. Let's see what else we can find, but uh, probably like spend like another hour to an hour and a half here before we head on to um, the Hivery Tower's office to finally meet up with capital B. So we figured out how to pop those, uh, those balloons. Let's have Laylee use her sonar, and there we go. Wait for our energy to return. And on we go to adventure. Hmm. Might be a little bit of trouble find to grab this one because of this big dude. There we go. That's the third one, apparently. And there we go. Actually, do you have another challenge? I forget if you do. No, you don't. Oh. Uh, thank you, J-Pop, for the sub. For some reason, that's not showing up in my activity feed, but I heard the blip. And then I looked over at, uh, at Chatty, and that told me what's going on. Hmm. Why is it giving us cannonball? Oh. No, not quite. Well, a good hit there, Roots, but not quite hard enough. What the? There we go. Huh? Good blazing Blamphibian! How did you hit that hard? Great work, recruit. Recruits, you've more than proved yourself as fully qualified war machines. Huh? Enemies of the Blamphibians will surely tremble at the sight of our new green and purple war machine. Take your golden artifact and head straight to war recruits. Why does it feel like we've started an international incident?
Oh, look at that. Looks like I missed a spot. And where is Dr. Puzz? Actually, hang on, let me go ahead and refresh the activity feed because that's not updating. Still not updating. I guess it's just not going to show up there for some reason. Oh, well, anyway. Can I talk to you while I'm in boat form? Or do I need to talk to you as, as ukulele? Okay, yeah, I need to talk to you as ukulele. Now, unfortunately, I don't have much of a sense of direction <laughs> when it comes to this sort of game. I think it's there we are. There it is. Let's make sure we haven't missed something else, too. Oh. Okay. Kind of forced ourselves through that one. Oh, look at that. It's, uh, it's our cloud buddy again. Well, hello there, dreamboat. I thought this galaxy would be a perfect environment for us condensed gases, but it's ever so dull. Say, why don't we introduce some excitement with a race across the stars? It'll be competitive and romantic. Sure, why not? Super, if you can sail through all the hoops and reach the finish line before me, I'll give you a pagey. Ready? Go! Trying to use the uh, the R button here to readjust my camera because I can't adjust with the the right stick while I'm also holding down uh, B here. Insert Superman sixty four joke here. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. I mean, I'm pretty sure there is a reason why um, our cloud buddy was wearing a helmet that said 64 on it. And now we're sailing through rings.
That might have cost us a little bit of time. My hand is configured in like such an awkward way right now. No. Okay, how much longer is this? So at least I don't have to push to push the stick forward while boosting. Like that won't make me go faster. That'll just that just risks making me go like astray. I think we're at the end. There we go. Wow, I can't believe you made it into port before me. A promise is a promise. Use your award. You earned it, Dreamboat. Put on some Euro beat and see if it makes it more exciting. Honestly, it might have. Anyway, let's go back to Dr. Puzz. As long as, um, as long as there are no copyright issues with that Eurobeat, like there tend to be with most racing games. Okay, so I'm going to go back in here. Now that I know that being electrified is a, is a status option, we might be able to find something to help us out. Nope. I want the there we go. Not in here. No, I just made a sticky. And is there something that I'm missing here? Is it there it is? There it is. 
Oh. So ice. Got it. Now, where is it? I lost it. No. There we go. Pagey in a cagey, technically. Well, more like Pagey in a cell, I guess. I'm free! Thanks, it's been tough stuck in here with that ghostly barman. He has terrible manners. And now let's go talk to that uh, pagey piece and put it back together. You know, it's another pagey. You found all of my pieces. Finally, I'm whole again. I suppose we'll be collecting you now. Uh, I suppose we can collect you now then. Have we been here? Probably, eh? What was in here? Have we been here? No, we haven't. I was never here. Let's hope that nothing actually spots us here. Oh, that a lot of close calls, but uh looks like we're fine. Reminding us of the fact that we can do this. Because we're probably going to need to do it here. Uh oh. And that butterfly. Let's wait right here. I feel like there might be something up there. Yeah, there sure are. Some quills. Camera, please. Oh. All right, so that destroyed everything. Oh, because this is a much slower switch. There we go. Push this. And we get a PG. Also a way back. All right. Another one done. Get this quill. This other quill. I think that's everything. Yeah, 
And then that's just the way back in. Let's see how our totals are doing. 19. All right. Doing pretty good. There's one thing that I think we haven't done yet, and I I think it's over there. Let's wait for the energy to come back here. Yeah, over here, this... uh black hole in one looks like we're gonna be playing some golf also looks like i landed directly on a quill let's check on top of here see if there's any quills up here because it seems like the thing that the game would do but it looks like no Even have quills. Well, welcome, gentlemen. Lady gentlemen, actually. Well, ah, yes, apologies, but nose isn't the most attractive I've seen. Well, the couple of people are taking in space golf. Their grand prize is to be won. Space golf? be playing toad in the hole if you're not lucky. Oh, indeed. Let me to bestow the rules of space golf. Rule number one. Tee off with a forceful swing. Reptile rush move is recommended. Rule number two. Transport the ball to the hole before the timer runs out. Rule number three. Appropriate dress wear must be worn at all times. Failure to comply will leave us with no choice but to release the security team to dispose of uncrewed offenders. The snob, aren't you? Yeah, so that's gotta be the way back. Yeah, let's tee off. I don't really see what the big deal is about doing Reptile Rush to start. Okay, maybe if you guys weren't in the way all the time. That seemed unnecessary, but, you know, whatever. Okay. And now into... Dang. Double dang. Come on. No. Okay, this uh this is being a nuisance. There we go. We're almost there. It's a little under a minute left. Oh, it appears we have a winner. Come and collect your prize on your way out. 
Paige and KG release. Okay, so now there's still the issue of the big robot. Um, I just saw some quills over there, which indicates a place that I haven't been to. Let's go back up here. And I probably could have just also gotten there from uh from the other place but i just want to make sure that i actually spot it so what's in this cave cosmic cavern oh all right Yeah, so we are now at the um the quill threshold. Keen crafts, hello. How you doing today? Get rid of these guys. There we go. So now, if I'm not mistaken, the um, the red force fields are actually instant kill. So when crossing, you absolutely want to have your um force field on and surviving i know that feeling man the computer please something stole focus away from the game for a second All right, so that disabled those and all of those. Hey, you over here. Oh, sure. Pull me right over. Actually, before I do that, um, I did see that over here. is oh there we go if i can stay on there we go our energy extender and i think that might be the last one no i've still missed one all right and that's the way back
Okay, now for the pagey. Hey pagey, we completed the challenge. Can you please unlock the cagey for us? Sure thing. We'll be a moment. Uh, this is the first time this has happened. Sorry, friends. I must have cage fright. Just can't get this to budge. Well, what are you gonna do about it? We need to collect you. I could try slipping out of these bars. Stand back a second. A KG and a Pagey and a KG escape like they always could have done this entire game. How about that? It worked. Are you telling me all you Pages could have fit through the bars this whole time? You have to understand. It's quite comfortable in there. Uh-huh. Anyway. I was trying to get some health back here. Also get some water back. I probably still don't want to fall down there. Well, then again, there's some platforms down there. What's go? What's going on? Are these just like rescue platforms, I guess? Oh, and this water is completely safe. Yeah, this is just to, um, we survived. Do it for science. Hey, science rules. Okay, now where is that robot? Oh. Ah, quill here, another quill nearby. Oh, up there. Say some chicken parm, nice. Where is this quill? Camera, please. Ah. Oh. And that's all the quills for this. No. Looks like we got some like-minded thinkers in uh, in chat, as at least as far as food choices. Where is it? Oh. 
Oh, on top there. There we go. Hopefully that's all of them for the boat. The quill floating up here. So now we still need to figure out how to get fire. And there's like, there's fire here, but we can't eat it. There's fire here, but I think that'll only protect us from fire unless. I don't know. Let's try going in here. What if I actually jump into this? Okay. Yeah, that was the solution the entire time. All right. So that leaves us with three pages for this place. We need to find the hidden vault, we need to get all of the quills, and we need to find the last three um, ghost riders. And I haven't a clue where any of that is. Presumably some of those quills are going to be in the vault. I'm going to say if anyone wants to look this up, I would greatly appreciate it. So we're not looking for like the next half hour or something. Not sure what that emote is, Jewel, but uh, you have definitely been helpful before. Pride Lion, gotcha. It's funny because it's a lion and it's pride. So I would have to guess that the vault is probably somewhere around here because this is where all the pigs are, right? So you have the, the big pig there, basically the tank. You have the ninja there. Maybe in here. I hear a quill. And there's Shovel Knight for some reason. Greetings, fellow knights. Thou arrived just in time. This guy gets about, doesn't he? Hope he's not expecting a share of 
our profits. My latest quest for treasure, I've uncovered this mighty vault containing vast fortune. Unfortunately, a group of swine knights have each claimed a key to the treasure, but their hearts are not yet pure enough to work together to achieve victory. Help me obtain their keys, young lizard, and together we can show them the true ways of the night. They are pagey amongst that Lucha all night? Indeed, work with me, and we'll split this treasure evenly. Thou can have the pagey, and I'll settle for the vast piles of gold. That sounds like a great deal of nonsense. Maybe. Sure thing, Shovel Knight. We'll talk some sense into those pigs. Here's how to claim one of the keys. Scoffs a lot is normally focused on chowing down. If thou were to charge his belly, I'm confident he would drop his key. Okay, so we need to use like different techniques on each um of the knights. So we've already used our stealth to get the key from the ninja. Ugh, I can feel my stomach rumbling. It must be time for elevensies. All right, Shovel Knight, what else you got? What's the next target, Shovel Knight? To obtain the next key from Leapalot, then I'll have to employ more finesse. To penetrate to that armor, try rusting it with water, followed by a deafening war cry. That should distract her. I think that would distract anyone. <laughs> okay, so we need to find a water plant. Also, before we do that, it might be a good idea to identify where she actually is. And she is up here. Well, where's the water plant? Here? No. There's a plant over there. Might be the water plant. Well, there's two plants, and one of them is indeed the water plant. Oh. They need to be that deafening. Hey, what's the pay idea?
What's the next target, Tin Man? Shoots a lot as a tough old dog. That will require my legendary trifecta attack of tail twirl, body slam, and then sawn off explosion. Now can you do a tail twirl without a tail? Such things matter not to a knight of pure heart. And the sonar explosion? I've always had an excellent singing voice. Not gonna ask about the buddy slam, huh? I guess Shield might must be involved in that one. Um where is shoots a lot again? Ah, over there. So this Dang it. And so an explosion. There we go. Try that again. You find yourself on the wrong end of my deadly bow. Yoink. Not really sure how we should have been able to figure that out ourselves. The ninja one was the only obvious one. Strong work, knights. We have all the keys. Our teamwork has paid off. Let's open this mighty vault. So I think if my count is right, We have three quills left. So we need so the main thing we need to focus on right now is finding those last three ghost riders. Uh can someone look those up? The yellow, the red, and the green. Meanwhile, I will look around to see if I can find some quills. Oh. There's the green. Oh, this is not good. Okay, got the green. And it costs us a few hits. So now I just need to uh, find the yellow and the red. Inside one on one of the ice meters, shoot the flamethrower of the spaceship by the crater of the large moon above the entrance tome. Large moon above the entrance tome.
Is there like a picture of where the red one is? Yeah, let's... Oh, large moon above the entrance. So, yeah, that's where the Grand Tome is. Yeah, there's you. Camera. There we go. There's the last, uh, the last quills. And it's like the golf course. I'm pretty sure we've melted everything here. And go ahead and land. Wait, is it in the golf course? Because I, I think you might have uh, like copied the same one for for two of them. It's in the golf course, okay. Yeah, so we don't necessarily need to worry about the whole golf game here. In the oval room, above everything, up here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. That is everything in, in uh, Galleon Galaxy. Uh, where is the, uh, that HP upgrade left? Oh, it's actually in Hyvary Towers. Then Tribal Stock Tropics has the last, uh, energy. Uh, what I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, I'll do a cleanup uh, next week.
Then we'll fight the last boss again, get the 100% ending, and if we have some time left, I'll figure out something else to do. Okay, where is the tome again? Where is the tome? That uh, must be behind this tower, I guess. And there we go. One shot, one clear. We don't need to come to Galleon Galaxy ever again. We're gonna have to go back to the first, uh, the first, second, and fourth worlds, uh, which we'll be doing next week. For now, let's go pay a visit to Capital B. Oh, we're back up to full health. All right. Um, ding dong. I don't remember installing a doorbell. What do you two want this time? Half a kilo of foie gras or my book back, and the choice is yours. I thought I told you, Pear, to beat it already. A hundred pages collected buys you some time with me and my stinger. Until then, buzz off. Look, sir, we've collected a ton of pages for the one book. Maybe we should let them come up. Quack! Stop winking at me, I'm flattered, but once bitten twice- Oh, yes. You two, uh, well done on the pagey quest. Why don't you come up and attempt a hostile takeover of your precious book? Oh no. Welcome to the bonus round. As always, I'm your host, Dr. Quack. What? You said we were finished with the quizzes. I lied. As usual, there are ten questions that need answering correctly, and only three lives. And watch out, contestants. These questions are extra tough. <laughs> Pages, legal property of Hyper Towers. How many do you have in total? Uh, 121, because there are 145, and both of those other numbers were higher than that. Even a daft-looking lizard is right once, once a day. Double curses, a super quick correct answer. That's a two-pointer. Those bogus butterfly boosters. How many have you stolen so far? That'd be five. Fiddlesticks. How'd you get that one? The stinky Galleon Galaxy Tavern. Who's locked behind bars? 
uh, Pagey is. Meh, even a daft looking lizard is right once a day. The picture. Which world does it show? Uh, I think that's Moody Marsh. No? Incorrect. How did you even get this far? The picture. Which world does it show? Okay, that's definitely Galleon Galaxy. Crackers. I knew I should have made these harder. The Hybrid Tower's hub. How many pages have you illegally stolen from from it? Uh, six? No. Oops. Players guys are available, FYI. Capital Cashino. Whose statues adorn the central foundation? Uh, the central fountain. Uh, corklets? Bah, you've been reading Wikipedia, haven't you? Impossible! You've beaten the final most challenging quackfire quiz! What do we win? A ham? Some nice plates? Yeah, fine. I won't stop you confronting the boss. But make no mistake, you'll be the real loser in that tussle. <laughs> well, managed to get through that without too much trouble. The lookout capital B, because here we come. Finally, I was about to stick my out of office and hit the uh, my out of office on and hit the golf course. I'm Yuka and this is Lily. We're here to take our book back. I know who you are, you green goon. You're the pair who've been collecting the magical pages for me, and now you've delivered them right into my hands, fools. Allowing you to complete your adventure has been terribly dull, but now it's time for it. It's time to end it for good and complete our sinister scheme. If you want those pages, you'll have to take them from us. Very well. Hostile negotiations it is. Try to keep up, freaks. And down goes Quack. You okay, buddy? Duck down! Duck down! Fetch my pillow full of duck down! He just wants a nap. All he really wants. Alright. Let's do this. Idiots. Can't believe you followed me into my personal pulverization chamber. It says stationary cupboard on the elevator buttons. Your time trespassing on, on our premises is over, cruddy duo. After I've made you redundant, the pages will be mine, and using their power, our organization will rewrite the universe. Prepare to witness my impressive short-term growth. Rah. Here we go. Ooh. No tonic wasn't on Vendi's menu. Let's teach that guy a lesson lately. Mm. 
business yuka on the go app uh, oh press the right buttons Dang. Not entirely sure how to do damage on you. There we go. Oh, and then Okay. I got it. I got it. And boom. Yeah, change it up. All right, we gotta do this one more time. All right. Am I doing this right? There we go. Ouch! Right in my stocks and shares. Quack, you foul fool. Send me up some corporate backup. And whatever you do, don't let don't get the corporate crates mixed up with the ammo crates. They're on their way, sir. Fresh off the production line. Come on. Think that was a hit? Unfortunately, that was also a hit on me. Yeah, I definitely hit you there. Ah, boy. This fight's not going so well. At the same time, I'm kind of needing to learn how to fight this guy again.
I mean, I'm clearly doing damage, right? Like, nobody would argue the fact that I am doing damage. There we go. Time to take this boardroom struggle to the next level. Quack! Activate the wall and roof lasers. Okay, um, the buttons all look so similar. Quack, you bird brain! Oops, I think I hear the phone ringing. Best go answer it. We did. Well, time to do all of that over again. Fortunately, it just auto-skipped all of the dialogue. And actually knowing what to do this time is also going to help. Yeah. So hoping for a uh, firm double hit there, but I don't think this game will allow for that. Yeah, that pretty much was exactly where I hit. All right. Why didn't you? There we go. Ah. Ah. I will take the opportunity right now to mention I cannot go into aim mode. Not that it would help all that much anyway, because the corplets keep respawning. There we go. Now coming into this phase with substantially more health than last time. Okay. I'm just gonna 
and do a couple of uh, arena slams. So this basically is the King DDD fight again. <laughs> Uh, time to invest in more toxic ooze and increase your shareholding in pain. Okay, so I'm not really sure how I was supposed to properly time that. Right in the junk. Ah! Okay, now what? And yeah, we're just reducing the, the arena size again. And adding more shock waves. Reducing the size again. Uh, how much health do we have? Oh, we have two health left. We have one health left. We have no health left. Welp. Let's do this again. So I'm not really sure how to deal with the bees, like in that uh, that first slam phase. Oh, right. I forgot to. Slam them. I mean, to to be fair, Jewel, if I had not gotten hit by the shockwave. That might have been enough, too. I need to get good. Hold down X to uh, skip as much as possible here. Corporate crates open. There's a bit of aim assist that uh, that is happening when corpless get closes, not really doing me any favors, especially since the aim assist is not helping me aim toward um, capital B at all.
Okay. Coming into phase three with uh, more health than last time again. Also a better understanding of what's going to happen here. How much health do we haven't taken a hit yet? See, sometimes you just gotta get good. I should not have taken two hits trying to get rid of those bees. There we go. You need to start the sonar explosion right after avoiding the first shockwave. There we go. So even more of the arena is gone now. Oh, I'm pressing the button like. <sighs> so I was pressing uh, ZL just too early. Time for the capital to soar and release some explosive equity. New types never learn. You always end up taking yourselves down. Uh, we have six health left. Okay, I think our hint here is you take you end up taking yourselves down. He's gonna poo it out a missile. And that missile's gonna head directly back into him.
problem. Running out of energy here. There we go. What? What even happened there? Oh, geez. Come on now. There we go. That wasn't enough time. Oh, thank goodness. I was only doing my job, you numbskulls. Yeah, poor job at that, Mr. B. The board aren't going to be happy with your performance at all. I should report you. No, wait. I can still win. Don't grasp me up. Hold on, I thought Capital B was the boss around here. No, oh, he's but a cog in a machine. I'm here to monitor the key facts and trivia, and then present them to the real bosses in easy-to-digest bullet point form. That explains the quiz questions. Anyway, the time for talk is over, Feather Features. We'll be taking our book back now. Stop, you fools. You have no idea of his true purpose. When Vile gets their hands on it, we'll rule the world. Quiet, Mr. B. Remember it states in our contracts not to disclose secret information to non-employees? No matter. We'll be taking back the one book now and ending your adventure permanently. <clears throat> Hello? Is this a first aid room? Lasto, what are you doing here? <clears throat> I got something else stuck in my throat. <clears throat> I need assistance. <clears throat> Oh no, here it comes. Well. Are you crazy, Cannon? They're about to wall up that duck and find out all about their secret organization. <sighs> I'm much better now, thanks. No harm done, Lasto. At least we finally reclaimed Laylee's book and ended Ivory Tower's evil scheme for good. That magic book's going straight and safe when I get home. It'll only appreciate in value. Come on, everyone. Let's get back to Shipwreck Creek and celebrate. Oh, no. A grand party of warriors. 
Nom nom nom. Would thou mind embarking on the normal quest for more cake? I think you've had enough. Now, now, let's not argue. We're all here to celebrate the heroic acts of Bray Blasto. Yes, very brave. That loose cannon almost blew our heads off. One question, fellas. What exactly did y'all do with that unsavory scoundrel capital B? Well, there's no need to worry about him anymore, Kajos. Thanks to Laylee and I, that chapter has been permanently closed. Ooh-wee, that's swell. A few more adventures like this one, y'all have almost gone and made it as genuine heroes. Almost? I risk my neck finishing this game. Calm down, Laylee. I'm sure there'll be plenty of time to top up our hero kudos in the future. For now, let's kick back and enjoy the massive credit scroll. All right. Well, you know what? I'm, nobody redeemed it, but I'm going to stretch. Mm. And I'm going to hydrate. Okay. So that is... Um, that's not the end of ukulele. That is the ending of ukulele, but we still have a little bit to go. Uh, we've done most of it. We've super cleared worlds three and five. Uh, we still need to super clear, super clear one, two, four, and the ivory towers. Um, we're going to be doing that next week. Um, but yeah, I find like, this game has like a lot of love behind it. That like you have pretty much entirely um, rare, rare expatriates working on this game and wanting to make another game like they made Banjo Kazooie or um, to a lesser extent Donkey Kong sixty four, and um, just kind of make something new. And you definitely get the sense of. Uh, of that in this whole game, but um, not really a fan of the whole thing of like these levels are just too damn big. And finally, wait on the oven and and you're done. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that, J Pop. Uh, I don't know how long these are going to be. So we're going to go ahead and um, fast forward this a little bit, but we're going to we're going to at least try to let them play out. Too big and not that much filling. And honestly, without the Hunter Tonic, like even with the Hunter Tonic, just the, the last few quills and the last couple of pages can be pretty hard to get. There's a lot of people named Adam. Wow. If this is how many people are named Adam in this, like, I can't even imagine how many names total are going to be in, in this. And tell you one thing, when, when we come back to uh, do the 100% thing next week, yeah, we're still in the A's. When we come back and do the 100% thing next week, we, um... We're not going to be yet sitting through all the credits again.
yeah this, this um i i can definitely understand um wanting to do this as a kickstarter because nobody yet knew what platonic was except for the fact that they were making a game that was gonna end up being something like you go uh, like a banjo kazooie And uh, I think that's pretty much what got them the majority part of the, of their attention here and how they ended up getting so many people. Holy crap, we're still in the ace. Now going through all the Andrews, and Andrews seem to, to have a lot of nicknames. Andrew Martin Tucker, you're welcome. And then a couple people just named Andrew. No last name. Why would you need a last name when your first name is Andrew? Right? Here come our Anthony's. <laughs> Will the oven be done or the credits? Let's put on another level of fast forward because holy crap. Oh, we're in the bees now. I can no longer read any of this. But hey, if you back this, you can like freeze frame and look for your name. I see Ben. I see Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. And Brad's. Bradley's. Brandon's. Brendan's. Brennan, Brent, Brett. I feel like I'm playing Wordle here. Brian. Brian with a Y. Oh, there is the C's. Callum. Oh, lots of Callums. Wow. Bunch of Camerons. I wonder if like a hard list of these patrons exists somewhere. It wouldn't necessarily need like someone typing all of these out and copying them. It would just take like some good OCR to just read these and transcribe them automatically. Unfortunately, I did not back this game, so control A. Here come the, here come the Connors. Corey's. Corey without an E. Craig. Curtis. Here's the D's. Dales. Damien's. Dan's. Daniel's. Lots of Daniels, wow. Lots of Daniels. Here's the Dannys. Darren. Dave. David. Holy crap, the Davids. Dennis. Obvious exits are North, South, and Dennis. Also Derek, Devin, Devon, Diego, Dilly, DJ, 
Dominic. Uh, Douglas. Drew. Duncan. Dustin. Dylan. And here we are in the land of ease. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Edward. Elizabeth. Elliot. Emily. You know what? While this is running, I may as well run through um, the schedule and do like most of the ending stuff. Because I'm honestly kind of starting to, to get vertigo from reading these uh, these credits. Let's see if there's anywhere I'm going to be sending you to after this interminable list ends. Uh, nope. Nobody to raid, unfortunately. Uh, so, the next scheduled stream is going to be on Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is going to be the um, extra long run stream where we're going to uh, continue our run through of uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. We only have six hidden Waddle Ds left to find. Uh, so we should be able to get those, but they're starting to get a little hard to get. They're involving things like don't get hit against this boss. Uh, and things like that, so that's got to be interesting to do. But uh, we are on the third pass of uh, the regular levels of this game, so um, we should be able to at least get the rest of the Ds. Will we get the rest of the soul pieces? I don't know. I would say that pretty decent chance. I mean, we only have six Ds left, right? So, um, yeah, that's got to be on Saturday, on Sunday at 7.30 p.m. or later. Atlantic Daylight Time is going to be our Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans, and um, I don't think, because uh, I know that Berserker was uh, away last weekend, uh, this weekend, uh, he's probably going to put out a release candidate. And um, then next weekend, after that, um, we're probably going to get uh, version 032. There's a 20% chance you can join that. Well, that's more than a 0% chance. So if you want to join, we'd be happy to have you. Uh, same goes to you, Jewel. Um, and also same goes to Zero, but I know he's been, like, incredibly busy lately. But yeah, 032 is just around the corner, which is probably not going to be, like, this Sunday, but next Sunday. And if I'm counting right, I think we're going to have five new games. I have a better idea Thursday or Friday. All right. I will try to remember to remind you on Friday um, to see if uh, you might have the opportunity to come and hang out with us. Uh, but yeah, I have been in beta tests for um, two of the new games that are coming out. Um, one of them was too fast for me. The other one was too smart for me. <laughs> so those are probably not going to be going into my YAML. At least not for the time being. The one that's too smart for me? Maybe. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, um, kind of stretching out this uh, this lead out here because um, 
we're only up to the to the end of the K's here with Kyle's. Uh, there's the L's. So that's going to bring us round week round wheel to our next uh, long run stream, where we are going to go back into the Ivory Towers, and uh, hopefully get what is left of um, the stuff in this game. Uh, once these credits are done, I'm going to go back into the file select screen just to get a better idea of um, where we're at. Um, but I think we have something like 20 pages left around there. About 20 pages left, maybe about 200 or so quills, if that. Because the majority of the quills are going to be in the worlds themselves. And unfortunately, I don't have a, a bot that does um, commands like that. The best thing that I can say is like go down to the About section of my uh, Twitch page, and um, you'll see all of that stuff. Eventually, I'll uh, do some more work on the Shuffletron. And uh, I do plan on adding, I don't even know, like, I don't even know if I've ever heard the entirety of Despacito, all right? But yeah, eventually I'll work on the Shuffletron some more and um, actually have, like, I guess you'd probably call them bang commands, because... Like, the short name for an exclamation mark is a bang. Oh my goodness. Well, we're halfway through the alphabet now. On to the ends. Here are the Nathans, Nathaniels, Neil, Nicholas, Nick, all these Nicks, Nicholas without the, the uh, K, Nicholas spelled differently, Noah, one name is just no Oliver Omar Those are done pretty at least the the alphabet tends to be fairly front loaded for the most part There's the Patrick's and Paul's I think I saw Paul Martin in there, but it's probably not the former Prime Minister of Canada Peter, Bill, Philip, Philip with two P's, Pierre, Preston, Preston Manning. I like that word reform. Neither of you know what I'm talking about. I I assure you, it's pretty funny to Canadians. Ricardo, Richard, Rick, Rob, Robbie, Robert, Robin, Roman, Ross, Russ, Russell, Ryan, I'm I'm inclined to say like if you back this game, you know you back this game. Like there are only two reasons why you're actually going to bother to scroll through this entire list. One is to see where your name is, and the second one is the way that I'm doing it for the sake of completion.
and for no other reason than that. Shannon, Sean, Sean with a W, Shaloopy McShlooperson, Simon, like occasionally catching some funny names. Spencer. I think I saw a stretch. Steven with a PH. Steve. Steven with a B. Super Dave. Super Dave. I doubt you're talking about Super Dave Osborne. Terry, bunch of thank yous. The Thomas Tiago, Tim Timothy Tobias, Todd, Tom. T is going to likely be, like, the last long letter. Tradley. Trevor. Tricky. TTL. Tyler. Tyler, Lord of the Dance. He has a use of bees. Victor. Vince Vincent, Vinny, Wade, Wesley, Wesley, uh, Will, William, Quill Wheaton. Well, I haven't actually seen that name in the credits, but I just wanted to say it. The X's, the Y's, and the Z's. Zach, Zachary. C. Zachary Chad. Chad Zacherton. There we go. Thanks for playing. Oh, that sudden stop just kind of made me dizzy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we have substantially fewer quills than I thought we would. So we have um, 24 pages left and 40 quills. Okay. So with that, I press this button. There we go. So thank you for uh, Everyone for hanging out for, uh, to J Pop and Jewel. Uh, thank you, J Pop, for the sub. Thank you, Black Sliver, for the follow at some point in the last two days. Um, and I've already said everything that I have to say, other than the specific thank yous to the chat. So I'm just going to end it there. I'm cool you if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.